Hello and welcome back to our house. I am Tammy Myra, Huntington Art Teacher, and this is Jara. Jara is going to be um, demonstrating how to marble paper today for you. For today's video, you will need some type of a pan to contain your shaving cream. You'll need food coloring, something to uh, mix the food coloring into the shaving cream, either toothpicks or some plastic knife or fork. Um, and you'll need some paper. You can use regular paper. Uh, cardstock works better if you have cardstock, but regular paper will be okay. So you're gonna take your shaving cream and you're gonna spray it all over your tray. That's good, that's good. And then you just take your hand, put it down. And you're gonna spread it out evenly across your tray until you have a somewhat consistent layer. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it kind of the same thickness across. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your food coloring, and you're gonna make little drops of food coloring around the tray. Try to keep your drops small, because we're not trying to puddle the food coloring, we're just trying to get some color in there. After you've dripped your food coloring onto your shaving cream, you're gonna use really whatever you have around the house. You can use a fork, a toothpick, I have a chopstick here. You could use a plastic knife, a plastic fork, and you're gonna drag one of those utensils through your colors. What you're doing is you're swirling the colors around. If you notice how the color moves. We're not trying to mix it into the shaving cream. We're just trying it. to yeah, just move it around a little bit. Hit it and move it around. And then slap it. Yeah, around there you go. After you've swirled your shaving your color into your shaving cream, I want you to lay your piece of paper down. Pat it down on all the corners, make sure it gets down in there well. So all that color gets on your paper. After you have it all the way down, then you're gonna lift up from one side. Then you will lay it down and the next part is where the cool stuff happens so you're going to take something flat a ruler we're using a bench knife because that's what we have at our house that's uh, for cooking and you're going to drag hold it at the top drag all that shaving cream off make it look really really cool Scrape that shaving cream onto the tray over there on the edge. There you go. And do it again to get all the shaving cream off. Awesome. Then you can do it again. You can take the same tray that you have. You can either add more color, you can swirl it around some more. That's up to you. All right, for your next piece, go ahead and lay that next piece down. Do the same thing you did before. This one's gonna come back cooler, but Now, if you have really thin paper, this will work too. If you have big sheets of paper, you could even use it for like wrapping paper. There's lots of cool things that you can do with this, or you can just frame it. It makes beautiful abstract art. If you have gloves at home, you might want to use them, just so your fingers don't get stained, but it is food dye, it'll wash off eventually, and that one has a lot more color on it. I like this. This is why I said it was going to come out cooler. Yeah. Because exactly. Nice job, Jira. 
So Jera liked the results from this one much better. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna take this paper and he's gonna lay it down in what's left to see what kind of reaction he can get. Maybe. I like the second one. one. The second one's pretty good. 